Mysterious metal starfish found lodged on U.S. beach baffles experts who can't explain what it is or who put it there. A mysterious metal object in the shape of a starfish discovered on a Rhode Island beach is baffling experts, who can't decide what is is or where it has come from. The strange shape was found on East Beach in Westerly by local fishermen, who have been trying to uncover its secrets for the last six weeks. A mysterious metal starfish has been discovered off the coast of Rhode Island and experts are baffled over what the object is. The object features a circle with eight prongs coming out of the center and local fishermen think most of it is buried under the sand. The mystery object features a circular with eight prongs coming out of the center and parts of it are covered in concrete. Most of it appears to be buried under the sand and sits around 10 feet away from the shore at low tide. Peter Brockman, president of the East Beach Association has taken photos of the mysterious object and sent them to experts, who are yet to come up with an explanation for its existence. Peter Brockman, president of the East Beach Association has taken photos of the mysterious object and sent them to experts including a former U.S. Navy Admiral. A U.S. Navy Admiral was not able to identify the metal starfish, while wind turbine company Deepwater Wind also denied any knowledge of it. Peter Brockman. President of the East Beach Association told NBC 10 News, We took a closer look at it and we realized this thing doesn't belong here and we wanted to figure out what it was. It's a man-made object, it looks to be stainless steel and some parts look like they were encased in concrete. Experts were left scratching their heads as wind turbine company Deepwater Wind also denied any knowledge of it. Oceanographers at the University of Rhode Island suggested it might be a seafloor mount for an acoustic Doppler current profiler. Mystery object has recently been found off Rhode Island coast. Fisherman Marshall Rubin said, Oh, I couldn't even begin to budget. Not even a little bit. And you can't tell how deep it goes, either. The only organization to shed light on the curious object was the University of Rhode Island. Oceanographers at the university suggested it might be a seafloor mount for an acoustic Doppler current profiler. If so, it could be a machine used to calculate current flow. Locals are planning on using a tree doctor's machine to try and pull the object from the sea this week.